Okay, I just got the TZ5000 uh, Smartway from MejiPro off of Amazon, so I want to check it out and see how it works. Now, I don't happen to have calibrated weights, so I looked up um, the weights for US coins, and the quarter dollar is supposed to be 5.86 grams. Um, so since I don't have calibrated weights, I thought I'd try some, some US change. Now the scale um, supposedly goes from one gram all the way up to 11 pounds, which is uh, quite a lot. That's, a, that's a, quite a high range. Now I've noticed that when you first turn it on, it, it will go to zero, which is what you want before you weigh things. But I've noticed that it drifts a little bit if you just leave it sit here. It'll, it'll go up to two grams, three grams. So before you weigh something, and if you want a precise measurement, you've got to, you've got to turn it off. And then you have to turn it back on and wait till it, it says zero. So we're going to try it out here. So this is, the U.S. Uh, Mint says this is 5.86 grams. See it says negative one gram there. Negative two. So we're going to do this again. And by the way, it auto, it goes auto off in, um, I think it says a minute. And it's also got a two year warranty on it. So it says zero. Let's put a coin on there. So it says six grams. And according to the U.S. Men again, it's 5.86 grams. So that's not too bad in my mind. Okay. Goes back to zero. So now let's put, put a nickel on there. And that, according to the U.S. Mint, is five grams. So it says anywhere from five to seven. Let's try that again. Turn it off, turn it back on, five grams. So that's pretty precise, five to six. If you, we'll try a dime. Okay, a dime is 2.2. Six eight it says two grams anywhere from zero to two. Let's try this again. Doesn't even pick that up. Hold on a minute. Four grams. Okay, let's see. Penny is two and a half grams. So it says three grams for the penny. I think if you want a more accurate scale on smaller weights, you need a different scale. They have one that goes up to 20 grams. So we're going to try some other features here. Okay, so the scale also has a tear feature, so let's see how that works. So to do that, put the coaster on there, it says 119 grams. So what they tell you to do, looks like, is you turn it off, and you turn it back on, and it will reset to zero. See, it says zero grams. So now I'm going to take my quarter, that's 5.86 grams, according to the U.S. Mint. Now this has been through circulation. It's been dinged up and stuff it may not weigh quite the same but it says six grams so I think that's pretty accurate so it did take the uh, take the coaster out so let's try it with the higher weights let's see how it does on that okay so let's see how accurate this thing really is so I'm gonna put my five pound weight on there gently So it says 2,376 grams. So I'm going to put my quarter on there. It says 2,383 grams. So it's about six grams difference with this quarter, which is pretty accurate. Um, scales, if they're off, the problem will be multiplied with weight. So for example, if it's off per gram or per ounce, let's say per ounce, and you put a pound on there, 
they're 16 ounces in a pound so that means that that error is going to be multiplied by 16 and of course you know if you put 10 grams on there or 10 10 pounds you can see what kind of error we get so this thing's pretty accurate it's got um, it goes from one it reads from one gram to 11 pounds and it's got a two-year warranty on it and it is powered by two button cells uh, batteries it's got the unit change here so we can go ounces fluid ounces ounces milliliters grams and it can go to pounds and it's got a tear feature so to do that again you power the thing off you put your your container up there you power it on, wait till it says zero, and then you put your, your contents in there. So it's a pretty, pretty accurate little scale.